You know what I mean? You're getting an old school Sony video. So here you go, Tommy. Here it is dragged out. I talked to Tommy this morning. There was a little misunderstanding. He thought I was going to be uh, on this Friday and uh, was a little detained because I had to be at the doctor's. But anyway, uh, I've got this pulled out. I've got all your clamps in a pile over there. I thought I'd show you this, why it was uh, not crammed in the corner so you can get an idea of the size. But uh, It's a pretty good size machine. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that if you uh, pull the pin out there, that that comes out, this piece here. <clears throat> now I'm uh, super weak. So I'm not gonna try to pick that plate up, but that plate stands up in here and you can uh, hook your chains or hooks in there to anchor it at the rear of the car. Here's your wheels. Here's your arm. I can't even roll this thing, guys. Let me see. Try to push it, you sort of gotta rock it up on the uh, wheels to roll it. Anyway, I kick it. That's how you move it around. It's got the uh, clamp or the uh, eyelet right there to chain it to the floor in the front of the machine or the back, whatever you want to call it, front or rear. Your ram goes from there to there. And uh, as it pushes this arm back, of course it's pulling the uh, panel in front of it. Your chain basically just wraps around this uh, spine on the back of the machine. It's very thick uh, half inch plate. That's what the machine's made out of. This might be a little thinner up here. It's probably quarter inch plate. And this is half inch, the uh, chain piece. That's welded to the back of that bar. Uh, I'm gonna try to take that arm off. Um, I have to take it off. It's a Allen set screw and then the pen knocks out. So when you get this, it'll be laying flat on a pallet, uh, banded to it. And uh, all right, your clamps you want it over here and the foot pedal for the uh, frame machine. There's the foot pedal. Uh, it could probably use a hose. This is probably what you were looking at where it's frayed up, but I do believe the hose is still good. The unit's been open for quite a while, so uh, You'll have to put the Tommy shoe on it. Uh, all the clamps you wanted right there, there's 15 of them. Of course, if there's any issues or anything, you can uh, return it, give your money back, whatever you want. So that's what we talked about this morning. There's the machine, I got it out. Hopefully somebody will come over tonight, help me get it loaded. Unfortunately, I do have to go back to the uh, hospital tomorrow morning for another MRI, because they uh, found some stuff and they want to do more study. So uh, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, I'll get this shipped out to you. I'm not trying to put you off. I just have some issues right now, but this is yours. No bullshit about it. I'll get it on the pallet and uh, within the week, it'll be on its way to Michigan to you. So here's what I have left of the uh, RAM. I'm gonna go ahead and send this to you also. Somebody uh, came over here, of course, and took it apart. Told me they could fix it, and they couldn't fix it. I don't even think this is the original RAM for the machine because it's got the clevis welded on the end of it. So uh, you should probably have to buy the proper uh, RAM for it or adapt something that you can afford. Basically, all you need to do is jack the RAM back from that point and that point, you know, so. An engine hoist ram would work, any kind of ram. Uh, the air ram's nicer though, and having the air pedal, you probably want to get a ram that's operated air over hydraulic, or hydraulic over air, however you say it. But uh, that's about it. I do think that uh, rear arm extends out. It's uh, slid into the uh, frame machine right now. This is how I'm gonna leave it to uh, ship it. You can. Uh, take it all apart and play with it when you get it because I know you're going to paint it, get all the cat piss off of it and stuff like that. So it still has the tag, which I know is cool for you. I'm not going to try to uh, 
take the red paint off the tag and uncover it or anything. I'll let you do the detective work and uh, the manufacturer names on there and probably where it's made and all, all that cool stuff. But it's a real solid piece and uh, glad it's going to a good home and uh, sorry for the misunderstanding. Didn't mean to call you, cause you any uh, anxiety and uh, I'll get it to you as quick as I can buddy. So that's what's going on with that and I'm gonna keep it sort of short. But uh, there's no, it moved, not under its own power, but I rolled it forward to get that out. And uh, we got a pile of uh, stuff that was hiding behind there now, of course. So I have to clean that up and uh, reorganize that. Uh, eventually I'd like to get all this stuff off the wall because it's just a, it's a cluster of uh, unorganized stuff. Uh, a lot of it's good stuff, a lot of it's just junk that I'll never use. But uh, I'd like to put a little bit of an office back here for when I get kicked out of the house. Ooh, fluorescent lights are messing with the camera. I think it just went to black and white. So uh, that's not an editing trick. That's the old Sony acting up. Thank God for Mark in California sending the new camera because uh, I don't think this one's long for this world. But anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching. Tommy, sorry again. There's your stuff. I'm going to build a little wooden box. Or no, Andrew said I could just put it in a box. So I'm going to put these in a converter box, and they'll be strapped to the pallet. She said she'd band this down and then also uh, wrap it in saran wrap. So I don't know what that entails. But anyway, there you go. You guys have a good day.